How many of you are afraid of insects? Anyone? Okay. Is anybody terrified? Oh, wow. Okay. So then, my guess is that this story will probably resonate with you a bit.、Um, you see, I used to be absolutely terrified of insects.、Um, even though this picture kind of betrays that point just a bit. Let's take this one down for a second. Just white screen it for a second. All right, perfect. So, <laughs> thank you. So, I used to be absolutely terrified of insects, and. It's it's really interesting because I don't know a lot of people that were quite as phobic as I was. I was a little kid though,、uh, right on the cusp of being seven, and I used to have nightmares about insects. I would wake up in the middle of the night, wake up my parents.、Uh, at, at, in at least one point, my dad had to come into the room and step on imaginary insects before I would calm down enough to go to sleep. So this was a problem, and with. Siblings, being the wonderful blessing from God that they are,、um, my older sister found ways to amuse herself with this situation.、Uh, I, I hope this ends up on the internet so Ashley can see this. Ashley used to find the largest insects that she could find in our yard, and she would put them on me, and then yell out from behind me, "Sammy, there's a bug on you!" And I would proceed to run around in circles, yelling, and she would just laugh and enjoy herself, because you know, sisters. So I, I, there was a point where I didn't even really want to go outside very much anymore. This had definitely reached the point of being a phobia. It was starting to change the way that I lived my life. Thankfully, I have very wise parents, because they produced this really interesting mantra. People fear what they don't understand. That's what they told me as what a six, seven-year-old kid、uh, trying to figure out how to deal with this. They told me people fear what they don't understand, and that mantra still echoes through the walls of my life now. It changes the way that I tackle problems. It changes the way that I handle the subject of fear. See, at the time, I was a card-carrying seven-year-old, a library card-carrying seven-year-old. And my parents took me to the library and dropped me off, and strongly encouraged me to hang out in the entomology section. And they did this for an entire summer, where I would just go there and hang out in the entomology section and read through the books there. And before that summer ended, not only had I read through all of the insect books in the entomology section, but I also knew what I wanted to be when I grew up. Riding back in the car with my mom, I remember telling her. I'm going to be an entomologist when I grow up. <laughs> I'm sure she looked back and thought, "Oh, he'll grow out of it," but that did not happen. <laughs> you see, it's 20 years later, exactly 20 years later, and I'll be getting my doctorate in entomology at the end of this year. <laughs> Thank you. So it's true. People fear what they don't understand. It just took knowledge for me to take these insects from being the focal point of my macabre fears to being this enthralling passion that I have in my life now. I get really excited when I talk about insects. I annoy people with my excitement when I talk about insects. It's ridiculous. Like, okay, everybody knows that guy, right? Everybody has met this guy before who's like. Oh my gosh, Bruce! You have to see these pictures of my child at the spelling bee. He was amazing, so adorable. You have to see him. He's so cute. Look at these, and they're like,、oh, um, "How long is this going to take?" He's up twenty, forty, seventy minutes tops. No, you have to see these pictures. I'm that guy, and you guys are a captive audience, so you have to see these pictures.、Uh, if we could.、Um Perfect. That. Oh my gosh. This is my pride and joy. This is Shane. Shane, everybody. Oh, absolutely adorable. Shane.、Uh, I, I found him、uh, at church.、Um, he was、uh, walking through the parking lot of the church, and I was worried somebody would run him over.、Uh, he's. It's the species.、Uh, it's. This is the hickory horn devil caterpillar, and it's funny because he was walking through the parking lot of church during a sermon about the devil. So,、uh, funny little coincidence there.、Uh, and Shane. Spent about three months、uh, looking and acting like a turd.、Um, a lot of people call that the teenage face.、Um, spent a lot of time in, in the in the teenage face,、uh, and then he transitioned to this. Oh my gosh! Absolutely adorable. He was still my pride and joy here, but this was great because he would just sit on the side of my head and we would watch Avatar: The Last Airbender together. It was perfect. Great stuff. Love Shane. 
Oh my goodness. And oh, oh, Ernie and Bert, those two, they were inseparable. People always ask me, how do you know which one's Ernie, which one is Bert? You can't tell. Look at, how, how can you not? Absolutely adorable. Love the both of them so much. Look at that face. Look at, how can you not love that face right there? I have to wonder sometimes, how did I spend so long being frightened by these creatures? Do you see Sally up there? Look at her, just hanging out up there, just an adorable mantis. Do you see that? So cool. Oh, and that. So that's my giant African millipede. His name is Leroy. Uh, just, wait, that's the wrong noise. I think what you meant was, oh, absolutely. He's incredible. Love that guy. So one of the most fascinating things about these creatures, they have tons of legs, obviously, um, and they have a separate brain in their body that controls the movement of each set of four legs. So it's really incredible because if you look at all the brains that you must have in their body, it probably outnumbers the amount of people in this room right now. Incredible, right? <laughs> Oh my gosh, who needs pop-up books when you got these guys? Love them, love everything about them. Oh, and you have to meet my oldest. This is Harold. Harold does the most adorable thing. When he doesn't want me to go to school in the morning, he'll just hang out on top of my book bag, and I'm like, come on, I gotta get to school. Just cute, love it, love everything about it. So hopefully you guys are starting to understand what I mean uh, when I say insects are fascinating. But beyond that point, fear is a barrier to progress. It is a wall. Fear is something that can take, it can take a molehill and turn it into a mountain. Fear can take an obstacle and turn it into a wall. When I think about all the time that I wasted being afraid of such incredible creatures, I mean, insects are amazing. The fact that you can take Everything uh, that was in that, that sack of uh, guts and legs that we call a caterpillar and transition it into that, only through the process of metamorphosis, that is incredible. Oh, and more. I just, you got to see the rest of the group. So, if you don't take anything else away from what I have to say today, please know that if you allow fear to control your life, it will change the course of what you are able to accomplish and where you go. Fear is important in some ways. It keeps us from doing crazy things. It keeps us from uh, lighting ourselves on fire because we fear that kind of pain. Fear is important in some ways. But when we allow fear to take over, when we allow fear to dominate how we think about things, then it becomes a barrier to progress. Then it becomes a wall. So, now that I've reached this place where bugs are kind of my thing, I really have to think about just how many people there still are who are frightened of them, who run from them, who think they're disgusting. Because yes, I did become that annoying person that would not let you kill a spider that's in your house. I was that guy as a little kid. I would literally dive in front of a shoe to keep a spider from being stepped on and then give you a lecture about the ecological principles behind predation. It's a spider. It's keeping the mosquitoes out of the house. It'll eat any cockroaches. They're so important. Don't kill it. That was me. I was also really, really, really annoying because uh, I was the worst one to watch movies with. Uh, I remember being a little kid and watching uh, The Lion King um, with my mom, and I'm like, Mom, I don't like this movie. Because, I mean, there's, there's supposed to be in Africa, but there's leafcutter ants, and leafcutter ants are endemic to South America. <laughs> and I just, I feel like this movie is not ecologically accurate. I really don't understand how my parents got through it. I'm sure at some point they thought to themselves, what have we created? <laughs> but I have become sort of a, a proselytizer for insects because there are a lot of people who are still so frightened of them that they don't recognize how incredible they are. They are. There are 10 quintillion individual insects on this planet. That is 10 followed by 17 zeros. If you took all of the human beings on this planet and put them on a scale, and you took all the insects on this planet and put them on a scale, they would outweigh the entire biomass of humanity. Three 
hundred times they outweigh the biomass of humanity. They are the ecosystem engineers that keep this entire planet running. We owe so much to insects. If just one of the one million described species of insects were to disappear, if we lost just the honeybee, we would lose one third of our diet along with them. Can you believe that? One third of every bite of food that reaches your mouth, honeybees are responsible for it. They are the reason why our planet is able to operate smoothly. Our ecosystems are based on them. Really? Honestly? I mean, if... How, how best can I say this? Um, Bounce. Bounce. Thank you. I think that was perfect. Beyonce just... Nobody can say it better than her. I, I absolutely love that. Thank you, B. I love you, girl. Thank you. Please don't sue me for using that. Please don't sue. Um, insects are incredible. And this isn't the only way that, uh, that I seek to convey that. It's not just through giving these talks. I've been trying to find just how many ways I can let people know that insects are amazing, incredible creatures. And another one of those ways, well, I've actually started uh, blogging about the subject. Um, so there's the Dr. Bugs blog, uh, your friendly neighborhood entomologist. Uh, people can write in with questions, and I'll answer them on the blog. Uh, it's really... Oh, okay. All right. We're going to go back for a second. Um, so the, the blog is really fun because I get to be interactive with people and answer exactly what questions they're asking about insects. In addition to that, uh, sort of a spinoff from that was that I actually created a web show around the subject to help people get more comfortable with insects. Um, if any of you are still frightened of insects, definitely look that up, because uh, I've been working very hard to make sure that people are aware every day of their lives that insects are the most fascinating things you have ever stepped on. And I hope <laughs> by the end of this presentation, or at least by the end of your time interacting with insects, that you are well aware of that too. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.